welcome friends to our channel electronics monk if you haven't subscribe us please 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 do subscribe us it's totally free and on this channel we are sharing what is projects tutorials and many other things related to analog electronics digital electronics arduino internet of things raspberry pi and many many other cool stuff related to electronics engineering uh, so in our last video we have done a basic interfacing of a pattern with a did here it is a second part of that video itself we are doing something different with that circuit itself as you can see here this is the same circuit that we have used in our previous video we are using this one again and uh, now we are doing something different so what we want to do here is uh, if i press a button once i want my led to be turned on if I press my button again, I want my LED to be turned off. I press my button, I want my LED to be turned on. I press my button again, I want my LED to be turned off. Quite simple, isn't it? Yeah, I know it's quite simple. So, how we can do this one? And uh, there is something hidden, a concept is there in this thing itself. So I have just written the code. Let us see how we can do this one. I have connected the button to pin number 10. So I have defined it here. I have made a basic variable of integer type. Then I have checked the button state. I have again created a variable of a button state which is boolean in nature and it is low at this moment. Okay. Then I have again made a another variable named as LED which is again boolean in nature it is doing nothing but just telling me what is the state of a LED so it is currently low now in a setup function we have defined the button pin as an input and pin number 13 is connected to the LED and that is output in a loop I am using if and else loop okay uh, in if uh, in this if loop I have told that uh, if digital read button pin is equal to high and the button state is low then do this one remember guys the first time we press the button the button state is low in nature and the current reading of a button itself is high so this condition will be true and then it will toggle the state of the LED currently the LED is low it will toggle it it will turn it into high and it will write the new button state as high and then it will digitally read that to pin number 13 okay see here it is written led led is turned on in this else in this if loop if it will not met this condition then it will go to this else loop and it will simply read the state of the button put that one into this button state and it will write it down into this 13 number pin by default the LED is low so it will again in low state quite simple isn't it let us see if it works or not let me start the simulation oops there is a bit of problem yeah here it is uh, so let me see if it's working or not yeah it's in on state now it's in off state good on and off and on and on okay oh my goodness off and again off oh shit ha huh, yeah it's not working yeah guys it's not working properly why it is not working properly because there is a bouncing of a button all the mechanical buttons uh, doesn't come in their in their position instantaneously okay what is uh, what we are seeing here is that i have uh, i have pressed the button and tell it that okay it's in an on state but it is not able to come in that state automatically it needs a bit of time uh, now these mechanical buttons basically are not that good and they bounce off from their state so what we have to do we have to debounce it we can do that debouncing in two different ways either in a hardware way or in a software way here we are focusing on software debouncing so let us see how we can do this one we stop it so let us go to our source code and uh, I have done some basic changes let us see what we are doing and what the basic changes we have done first of all uh, basic change that uh, we have done 
is uh, we have created another variable current button state okay we have created an another variable current button state that is again boolean in nature and currently it is low currently it is low okay both these things are same then the setup is exactly same now we have created a function a function named as debounce itself and which is boolean in nature okay we have created a function debounce which is boolean in nature and we have given it boolean last we have given it another thing which is boolean in nature we have given here yeah, boolean last now let us define what this function is all about this function will have a current boolean state it will read the button pin boolean current will read the digital pin button and then we will check that if last is not equal to current if it is so it will have a delay of 5 milliseconds see 5 millisecond is pretty low and in 5 millisecond itself we cannot press a button twice manually we cannot press it so then the current will have the state of this digital read button and it will gives us this function will give us the uh, return us the current value okay after that in our uh, void loop the current button is equal to debounce button state the current button is equal to the debouncing of the button state if button state is equal to is equal to low and current button is equal to is equal to high then we will toggle the led button state is equal to current button now and digital write pin number 30 so we have write this led state we have toggled it here and we are writing this one to our pin okay let us see let us simulate this one and see if it's working or not it's on it's off it's on it's off it's on it's off it's on and it's off it's on it's off it's on it's off yeah it's working it's working perfectly fine so thanks a lot thanks for watching this video i'm sharing the links of both the codes in description so you can go there you can download those codes you can use it in your program and if you haven't subscribed us please please subscribe us it is very important so that you can get all the different videos regarding to electronics regarding to internet of things and please help us to go to like the video press the like button and share it with your friends also thank you